All right, back again. Uh, we have our images downloaded into Bridge. And I'm going to close out our webcam software. And you can see here we have uh, this nice little thumbnail flow. And I can move this up a little bit. And you can see those thumbnails a little bit better. I can also squish it down. I can see all the thumbnails simultaneously. Um, and these are broken down into files of DNG digital negatives and then all the JPEG negatives in here. Now, of course, we can choose different uh, settings, essentials, metadata, output, possibly. Hopefully we don't uh, have a glitch here, uh, which gives us information. I do like working in film strip. Now I'm going to uh, click on this first DNG that we shot and hopefully you can see a little bit of that there. And you can see that uh, that coloration that I had first talked about uh, having this yellow cast to it. Uh, one thing that we can see here also is a, a nice focus on the uh, ball in the front and we can see how this ISO rating, uh, I'm sorry, the aperture that we chose uh, gave us a little bit less depth of field. So let's look at a few of these here. Again, adjustments. This is the first shot. Here we have a nice sharp ball, and we can see at this aperture uh, it, we have a really poor quality of focus in the background. And uh, we can go to the metadata and we can look at this metadata here and see that this was uh, the aperture was set at uh, f1.8 and of course uh, that is a or I'm sorry uh, f2.8 which is a, a very narrow depth of field so let's go back to the film strip now we can come over here to uh, let's try 97, 99, and you can see here with this shot, uh, we must have used a, a, a smaller aperture number, and we have both of these in, in focus because of that aperture, and we can look at the metadata here. Yes, this was uh, shot at two seconds at F16, and that F16 gave us enough depth of field to get all of that image and focus. Let's go back here again. Now I'm going to squash this down so we can maybe see that a little bit better. Uh, we can see all of this in focus and let's go back here to the first one where our ball is in focus. And remember this was an aperture of 2.8. This here is the aperture of f16 and you can see how that works. Now there's good and bad to this. One thing is that with this out of focus in the background, it definitely brings our emphasis and focus of our eye to what is in focus in the picture. And that could be good if that is something that we are really trying to focus on. So we use this depth of field to uh, to come up with creative ways of resolving issues that we have have in even a setup like a still life like this. Do we want the focus of the eye to be on this ball or do we want people to see the overall image. Now it depends if we're selling a product and we want all the product in focus or if this is more artistic. There are different ways that we can do this. Now let's take a look at um, here we can see uh, the coloration change at 5500 Kelvin and of course because we have a flash unit we have greater latitude in choosing shutter speeds depth of field this is a little bit blown out. This shot is a little bit better. And this even much more so. If we look at the metadata for it here, of course, our ISO is still at 400. We used 1 80th of a second shutter speed and an f-stop of f22. At f22, this, uh, this was able to get a nice focus, range of focus, depth of field from the foreground to the background. And uh, of course, this shot here was where we focused on the bottle. Let's go back one. 
here's where we focused on the foreground and you can see what F22 can do for you. So uh, f-stops definitely help us uh, with our creative control. There's a lot of potential in blurring areas out that we don't want uh, to distract the viewer to a, a particular emphasis in the image or in terms of getting the entire image in focus depending upon the distance we have between the foreground and the background. Uh, these are all considerations and important uh, components to learning how to use a camera effectively and coming up with the results that you want. So uh, let's go back and we're going to um, uh, see you in the next movie. Thanks.